Hi, I'm Jake Dodansky, project lead on Icarus here at Rocketworks. Today, we're excited to introduce to you our Galileo patch. For those unfamiliar with our new content cadence, this is the first of several larger patches that we've been working on while still releasing smaller weekly updates. This patch includes several exciting features, including fishing, the beastry, steam achievements, and trading cards. Our hero feature of Galileo is the introduction of fishing to Icarus. To go fishing, prospectors will be able to craft a fishing rod from the new fishing bench along with traps and lures. All bodies of water can be fished, from running rivers to the lakes they connect to. Each water body will contain a different variety of fish, so you will have to go searching to catch them all. Once you've cast your line, you'll be prompted to hook your fish and reel it in. Once hooked, you'll have to keep the fish in the golden zone of this minigame. When the fish is in the golden zone, progress increases. Once the progress reaches 100%, you will reel the fish in. Fish are either saltwater or freshwater and come with a variety of stats, including quality, length, weight, and rarity. All fish you catch are recorded in the fishing book, which is part of the beastry record. This can be opened by hitting J on your keyboard. Players can increase the likelihood of catching better fish or different types of fish by using lures. These are also craftable at the fishing bench and provide different stats to your rods. These can be equipped in a very similar way to swapping ammo out on your gun by holding the R key. For players who don't want to actively fish, you can also build fishing traps that are craftable from the fishing bench. These will slowly catch fish that are available within the current location. Though be warned, these also fill up with junk and take far longer than using a rod. If you don't want to use a rod or traps, you can still go and shoot fish or slash them with your knife. Only now you will get fish chunks instead. Fish caught with traps or rods can be taken to the fishing bench and filleted into saltwater or freshwater fillets. All three ingredients can be used in a variety of recipes. Players can also craft new wall trophies and aquariums to show off their prize catches. Our next Galileo feature is the beastry. This is a journal for prospectors to record what creatures they have encountered on Icarus. As players kill, fall victim to, skin, or craft trophies of, they will uncover more information about that creature. Each encounter with a creature is recorded individually, and as players uncover more information, they will unlock perks related to that creature. Upon first encountering the creature, you learn its name and its biomes. Further encounters lead you to learn unique lore about your foe, its weaknesses, habitats, and even unlock unique perks. Some of these include wolves dropping additional meat, reduction of oxygen consumption, and heat temperature resistance while in the desert. In addition to this, for every 20% you complete of a beastry entry, you gain 1% extra damage dealt and 1% damage reduction taken against that creature. The last big feature is the addition of the Steam Achievements and Steam Trading Cards, along with profiles and emotes that you can now earn while playing Icarus. These have all been hand-drawn and crafted by our art team and come with a range of challenges to unlock. We really hope you enjoy the Galileo patch and look forward to your feedback.